Hey guys, I'm Cyborg Sheep, and welcome to the Weekend Post. Once again, certainly been a while, however, I am back. Today, we are going to be taking a look at and unboxing this Milwaukee electrical clamp meter. Opening up the package. There we go. Pretty standard, uh, ooh, the fancy. Got the uh, little Milwaukee logo on there, and... Uh, you all listed apparently. And the main event. Aha! There we are. Nice. Pretty standard arrangement for a uh, meter of this type. You got the dial on this side, and you can just use a single thumb. Uh, you can zero out the meter. Apparently, you can do hertz uh, with this button here. Uh, nuts. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> Double A batteries. I was kind of hoping it wasn't. But uh, pretty normal for meters to be double A's. And uh, up top, it's got the pincer what for uh, the current measurement. Basically, instead of having to have a janky setup where you have to interrupt the circuit, put one lead on, on one part of the circuit and then one lead on the other, and then you get a current measurement through here, and then what happens when you get the leads mixed up and you screw, screw up and put it in the wrong spot and whatnot. With this one, you don't have to worry about that. You just stick it on there. You got your current measurement. All's good. Unfortunately, ma, no batteries included, so uh, I guess that's gonna have to be a Phillips and grab some two double A's. I'll be right back. Oh! <laughs> oh, look at that. Two batteries in there. And, uh, look at that there. Uh, yeah, you see that little. that right there? Nice. Uh, it has a little brass insert there for not uh, stripping out the plastic and having your battery cover fall out on you. That's uh, that's good actually. Um, all right, cool. Batteries not required. Nice. Batteries being as they may, I guess that means we can just turn it on, try it out. So let's see here. Ooh, fancy. Now, is that a, uh, the, uh, <laughs> what, what, what was the wank on the box here? Oh, yeah. Best in class, high contrast display for easier reading. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's just a nice display, I'll give you that. It's got the nice little seven segment portions there for displaying the values. So far, it looks pretty nice. So, uh, let's get to testing this thing. Now, we're going to start out testing this meter on the DC volt setting, but also to serve as a little bit imperfect of an accuracy test, I got this power supply here, and I have this other meter here, and we're going to turn on this power supply, and we're going to say, get this on and set it to DC volts. So, power supply on, set to roughly 5 volts on there. We're going to grab this other meter and give it a test. So sticking on positive, sticking on negative. Ah, huh, look at that. Perfect five volts. So that uh, so that means that we can be reasonably sure that this thing is relatively accurate. With it being that we can be reasonably sure that this thing is pretty accurate, let's test this nine volt battery pack right here. 
and we get 8.65 volts which is about what I'd expect for this kind of battery. Alright, we're going to test AC voltage. I have this split receptacle here, so we can test two things here. We can test the 120 volts. So we're at about 122.8. And we can also test 240 volts. Like that. And we have about 244.7. Another source of AC output that we can test is the AC output of this transformer right here. So if we go to one leg of the transformer and to, ooh, to the other leg, get about 10.5, 10.6 volts. Switching over to AC current now. I have this little shaded pole motor that we can test out. So this motor is rated at, at about 1 amp, according to the, well, nameplate right there. So, trying it out. We get a little bit more than that. Give it a few minutes. Okay, 1.1 amps, but it has been running for a little while. Uh, so that's kind of maybe to be expected. Anyways, pretty good test on the meter. Another test of AC current we can do is with this DC brushless motor right here. One interesting thing to note is that this test normally won't be possible due to the high frequency that these motors operate at. But since this meter has true RMS functionality, it's having no trouble whatsoever. And at roughly half throttle, we're drawing around 1.2 amps. Now increasing it to full throttle, you can see that the motor is drawing roughly 2 amps. So I'd say that the average ring capabilities of this meter are pretty good among the meters that I've seen. Lastly, we'll test out DC current. So, I have this 12 volt DC motor, and we'll plug it in, and put the clamp around it. You get around 0.2 amps, 0.3 amps, I think I can maybe make it go a little higher. 6 amps if I try to stall it there. Turkey! One final test we can do is, again, with this brushless motor and uh, on the input side of its drive, we can test the current, the DC current going into it. So, turning it on. Draws around 0 0.1, 0 0.2 amps. And if we bring up the motor speed, With the control at half throttle, we're measuring around 1.2 amps, which is consistent with what I've measured on the output side. Well, there you go. That is the Milwaukee clamp meter. For the most part, lives up exactly to my expectations. The one fault about this thing, though, which is that it doesn't do too well with low currents, which is kind somewhat of a problem based on what I what I'm s normally measuring which is usually below 10 amps like mo most cases I don't get much higher than oh I'd say maybe like 20 is maybe maximum of what I'd be measuring with this thing so I mean within the 20 to 1 amp range Below 1 amps, I mean, you're probably fine, maybe down to 0.1, but beyond 0.1, not great. But, granted, being that I'll be me measuring mostly supply sources with this thing, I think it should be okay. The one function that I'm especially happy to have is this DC amps portion with the clamp. That's going to come in super handy. It's one of those things where it's like, inaccurate to measure it any other way than just measuring it directly with a with a meter like this 
So I think that's just about it for right now. I hope you guys are excited for all the cool stuff I have coming coming down the pipeline. I'm super excited to get working on it. Hit that like button if you liked it, or hit the dislike button. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you dudes in the next episode.